my name is Elizabeth Bushy. I'm a master's student at Carnegie Mellon University. I'm graduating on Saturday with a degree in information security and I focus on uh, threat analysis and intelligence. So my name is Dr. Lisa McKee. I'm located in ne Nebraska and I am an assistant a cyber professor at Bellevue University and I also am a founding partner at American Security and Privacy. We do security and product services. I've actually been at RSA many times. In fact, I am now part of the loyalty program. So this is a great event and one of my favorite um, conferences to attend every year. It is my first time at RSA. It's been amazing. I've learned so much from the different talks and meeting different people. Uh, the networking has been incredible. Um, and it's incredible to see all these different companies and people and the community that's come here. So my name is Jace English. I work for Columbia University. We're based out of New York City. And I work in their security operations center. Just recently, DDoS is something that we had to adapt to. Um, before that, it was uh, phishing, uh, rolling out our phishing uh, simulation program and you know trying to get the results and make sure that people that are clicking on the, uh, the simulated phishing, they get a uh, remedial training and make sure that they know that, you know, just be on the lookout because the internet's a bad place. It's a bad and scary place. I've seen a really good focus on threat analysis um, and intelligence and not just like different technologies in isolation, but sort of the confluence of these technologies and how we look at them together and their interactions and how we need to look at that going forward in terms of policy and implementation. Tyler Wurtenbrook, I'm the technical manager for the IT team at St. John's Health in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we're healthcare, so security is paramount. Uh, it's the thing we take first with uh, regards to any of the solutions that we're looking at. Um, we have highly monetizable data, so we've got to try and figure out whether it's point solutions or holistic solutions, how to protect it so that we can do patient care. Uh, my name is Adam Cullen, and I am a security evangelist with Securion out of Chicago. We are an information security consultancy serving large global multinationals. Things that I was really invested in and things that my customers were paying attention to 10 years ago are all extremely different now. And you know, as a, uh, as a consultant, the things that I care about are generally the things that the marketplace cares about because you know we think about you know 3.5 million uh, you know global recs open worldwide you know finding the talent you know the the correct hands and the right blend of skills to be able to get stuff done is critical but like well what things are we doing and that's you know the trends that evolve as uh, uh, you know as the state of the market continues so it's primarily um, you know figuring out how to master the cloud how to handle identities vulnerability management and certainly how generative AI is impacting you know, modern global networks. What I really enjoyed was the opening keynote where they talked about some of the trends for this year and the one that caught my interest was risk because one of the things that I do is GRC and risk management. So that was exciting to hear. So some of the things that are concerning is my friends and I always talk about Groundhog's Day and that we talk about the same problems year after year after year and that companies still haven't solved for some of the basic things. Um, so that's one thing that's still concerning and it leads to a lot of the data breaches and compromises that we see. Um, and I'm most passionate about data privacy because I think privacy laws and regulations are really going to help us move security forward because privacy laws, um, they have a lot of significant fines and penalties that come with them that I am hopeful will deter companies to do the right thing. The main challenge with working in, in EDU space is the fact that um, you know knowledge is, is considered a shareable resource, something that everyone should have access to. There should be no limiters, there should be no barriers. Uh, working in security, I, my job title and role goes directly against the nature of enterprise or higher education. So we are a Cloudflare customer. Uh, we've been with Cloudflare for probably about five years now. Um, we had to do a, an emergency onboarding of our main website because we had just been taken down by uh, some DDoS attacks. Um, so. It, overall, the uh, experience with Cloudflare has been good. There's some tweaks that we need to iron out, uh, considering the options that we just turned on from this DDoS event. But overall, things are good. Initially, we purchased it for security, uh, but our developers are looking forward to using it for other other products, other functionality of the the product.